Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how to weld a truss on your axles. Now this is going to go on a 2018 and newer Jeep Rubicon front axle. Follow along as we get it all prepped and welded. This is the 4x4 Fab Shop. We're going to be using this Rock Mount Polaris MIG. This video is partially sponsored by Rock Mount Welding Alloys. Rock Mount specializes in maintenance welding. Whether TIG, MIG, or stick, brazing, they'll cover all those needs. Hard facing, rotary tools, abrasives, and even drill bits. So anything you need to do for fabrication or maintenance repairs, Rock Mount can cover you. I'll leave all that in the descriptions below. Other than the lower C gussets, that's pretty much where it's all going to go. I got to get it all laid out so I can get it sanded and cleaned. So this one's going to be a little tricky. And I have no idea yet how I'm going to get this one inside of there. So first we just worked everything down to bright metal. Whenever you, you can, you should try to. We're going to be using this Rock Mount Polaris MIG. Now the Polaris is made for maintenance, so if there's a little paint or something, it'll be just fine. It's a very strong wire to use for something like this. We're going to spray the inside with this high temp Rust-Oleum. It's good for 2000, MIG welding is around 3, but we need something to protect from the salt and everything. So after it's painted, we're just going to sand the edges that we're going to weld on and then knock off the mill scale on the outside. Alright, so I'm going to use my transfer screws just to make a quick cover to cover the axle area here for the, where the fad goes in. And it'll mark where those, tap, where those tapped holes are at. So I can bolt up. Alright, so we got everything all cleaned up. Got everything prepped. Wiped down with the acetone. Went, went through all the edges, got rid of the mill scale. Cleaned up the casting areas. And she's ready to weld up. We did heat up the casting to about 150. Use a digital parameter just to check it. And then I wrapped it up with a thermal blanket so it didn't cool very fast. Alright, so we got it all welded up. Still have to put the lower C's on, and I'm debating whether or not I'm going to put the pieces in to go under the spring perch. Alright, luckily, once you take all the axles and the hubs and everything out, that front end gets quite a bit lighter. So I have to get these gussets on here. So I gotta figure these out. It looks like that's it. I'm still debating whether this area needs beefed up. There's a lot going on there already. Same thing with this side. There's a lot of brackets in there already. I don't know. I'm not too sure what that buys you as far as stiffening. All right, so when you put the lowers on, they're cut a little bit differently. One's got a higher cut. They're cut to clear this bracket on both sides. That's for your sway bar connects. The let's get this down to bright metal so we can get it, so we can get it uh, welded up. I really like this Miller 220. It's a multi-process. I can MIG, TIG, or stick with it. It really does a good job running this, this Polaris MIG. And that's a 220 or a 110 unit, so I can use it wherever I want. All right, so we got those lower C's welded on. There's a couple of small areas I need to come back and finish welding tomorrow. We're going to weld down inside of the upper part of the C tomorrow, let this cool off a little bit. 
get it on both sides and then the connector here let it cool down a little bit we'll get those welded up all right so there's the front axle got it all painted I think overall it came out really good That Artec truss for the front fit really good. It's hard to see since it's all black, but we've got the the front C gussets on it, upper and lower. The only ones the only ones I didn't put in are the ones that go up under the spring perches. I really don't know why they're even there. You got the spring perch, you have all these other mounts stiffening it. So it might be proved wrong, but I can always put them in later. You know, and then the truss actually stiffens up control arm as well, which is kind of nice. So he's sprayed it a nice gloss black. The new ball joints are on their way. And we did order a new set of ball joints for the front. So one thing Dana Spicer did change is it where these have some plastic internals where the ball actually rides in there. The new ones are all metal on metal and there's a grease dirt in the ball joint itself. Should last a little bit longer. I know that on mine, I'm starting to get some wobbling. So I never bothered to even investigate it because, well, knowing it, we were gonna change. And that I can find there's only two ball joint options as of August of 21. You got the Dynatrax and you have the, the HD version of the Danas. As we get closer to the final assembly and get the ball joints in, it'll be part of a future video of this whole thing together going into the Jeep. All right, so it's a fairly easy weld up. So just go through and make sure everything's good and clean before you start trying to weld it up. Do a little bit of preheat on the cast iron and then it goes together real easy. So we do all kinds of fabrication work on this channel. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you on some other videos that pop up here. It's been the 4x4 Fab Shop.